find your way back home Caitlin, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my cute DIY sunflower vans. I'm really excited about this. My vans were getting a little bit old and dirty and so I just thought that I would do DIY little sunflower vans. A lot of the videos that I looked up on the sunflower or any sort of flower, they all went out and bought new shoes and I was like absolutely not. I will be using my old vans because that's the only reason I ever really paint a pair of vans is if they start getting older. I just feel like it adds more character. So these are the vans. I did them opposite of each other so I thought it would be cute a little bit different. Um, so as you can see on the back one's facing right side up and the other one's facing upside down yeah okay so and then these are the sides and I just think they're super cute and I'm gonna be putting all the acrylics that I use in the description bar below I just want to go ahead and apologize before we start the video my house is a little bit noisy so I went ahead and did a voiceover so you guys didn't have to hear like dogs barking and whatnot so I apologize for that but I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and jump right into the video so I actually freehanded the sunflowers on my shoes, but there are stencils you can get. I just wanted to freehand mine because I had weird like dirt spots in different places. So once you're done stenciling or drawing on your sunflowers, I would recommend going ahead and painting the petals first. Just because if you accidentally get it in the middle of the flower, you don't have to go back over the middle after you paint the petals. Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running So these are my shoes after I finished painting the petals. You don't have to be too careful about it because you are going to outline the flowers when you're done. So don't worry about it looking a little bit messy. But once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and paint in the leaves for the sunflowers. I just used like a darker green. I felt like it would fit the most and it would look the most realistic. To my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running The next thing I did is I went ahead and painted in the middle of the flowers 
with like a medium color of brown. I didn't want to make it too dark because I am going to be putting little flakes and specks in the middle of the sunflower to give it dimension and I wanted you to be able to see that. So I used a medium color brown and just went ahead and painted in all of the middle of the flowers. Then I went ahead and used the same brown paint and detailed the petals with a little crease down the middle just like a normal flower. Once I was done with that, I went ahead with a white paint and just went ahead and stippled in a bunch of dots to all of the center of the flowers just to give it a little bit of extra dimension. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger. Step by step, the clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town, from London to... Once I was done with the little white dots, I went in with little black dots, just so that way there was depth and dimension, and the flowers just looked the most realistic. Simon, I've been all around the globe, trying to protect so for the last thing i went ahead and took a normal sharpie and outlined the outside of the petals as well as the leaves and i also put a crease down the middle of the leaves just so that way there was a sharp effect around the flower as well as on the leaves And once you are finished outlining, that is it. You are finished with your DIY sunflower vans.
Alright guys, and these are them after I outlined them. I think they're so super cute. I'm so excited to wear these again. I feel like it just brought life back into my shoes and it makes them look cute and like ready for spring and summer. I honestly was thinking about doing a whole series like this because I have a bunch of different older vans. So if you guys are curious about that, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely do more videos like this. And if you guys have any ideas on like something you'd like to see me paint on vans, I can definitely kind of go around that because I have so many old vans and I wouldn't mind showing you guys like a specific type of like redo that you guys like to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.